All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am gonna do some GPS updates with this card. So what I'm gonna do, is we'll start in the baggage compartment. Unlock the baggage. Open the door. If I can do this one hand without pinching my fingers. We're gonna hook the battery up right here. Battery's hooked up. I'm gonna get my little gloves. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm on. Well, we'll just leave that open. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get that little power cart right there and hook it up. I'm gonna plug it into the wall over there. Plug it up. So just here. Let me stand by for one second. I'll turn turn this off for a second. All right, we got the power cart hooked up. We got it turned on. Now let's go into the airplane. Get my SD card out. It's kind of dark. I'll get my flashlight. All right, just so I can see where to put the card. Because I got my windshield covers in to keep it cool. All right. We're going to take out the bottom card, which is our little Connects card. Let's see if we can do this one hand. Get out this SD card and put it in the bottom slot. And we're going to make sure, let's make sure, let's get the flashlight. Let's make sure the little tab is slid forward. It is. Slide in very carefully. All right, now we're going to turn on. I'm going to aim the light so you guys can see, hopefully. Turn on the battery. All right. I'm going to turn off my flashlight so you can see the screen. So I'm going to turn off the speaker because we're in the hangar. We're getting a lot of noise. Normally you'd hear whatever it's tuned to. I'll let this boot up. Booting up. And now we're going to go under database status. We'll touch that. And we'll see it says database sync in progress zero of two zero percent complete so navigation is good base map is good terrain is good obstacles is good safe taxi airport diagrams chart view this is the one that we were i was updating the ifr vfr charts so it's doing its four percent complete I'm actually going to go over here and turn on the air conditioning while I'm sitting here just to get a little cool air. Alright, 12% complete, 13. It's counting up. It says five minutes remaining, but it, should, it ain't going to take that long. It's going. Let's see where our message is. It's just saying that I pulled that card out and it's not getting any GPS data because we're inside the hangar. All right, we're gonna let that go. While that is counting along, I'm gonna go over on this GTC controller and what we will do, I'm gonna load a flight plan just to show you guys how to I put in the perm. This has got that performance plus package let's just make up a destination which we'll just say uh down to jacksonville all right enter let's say procedure we're going to do a departure out of here uh i think we'll try a nine carowind transition sounds good let's say they're using two three left so we load that and then let's hit procedure for an arrival into Jacksonville. And I'm just guessing because I haven't looked at any charts or anything. But we're just going to make up one. Uh, we'll leave the one we got. No runway. We don't know anything. So we'll just say that. Load that. All right. So that's loaded in there. All right. And we're going to go home. We're going to go to performance. This is still counting. All right. 
let's go to active performance uh, here's Greensboro and what we would do is we load a departure time so right now it's 2100 Zulu time so let's say we were gonna leave at 2200 we're gonna leave in an hour from now or so All right so we put that in there and then we're gonna go over here on this right side and put our cruise and let's say we're gonna go uh, 38,000 feet we'll hit enter right and then I do have to do a little bit of uh, stuff at home to come up with these performance numbers so I put in 38,000 feet now let's say the winds are 270 at 15 knots and it's ISA plus 5 I'm just making up something right so we save that and what that will do is that will give us good predictive numbers for our flight plan for our fuel burn descent is all planned in there wind and temperatures if we were outside it would pull these up so it's not gonna actually I'm not gonna get good numbers because I'm inside the hangar but it would pull up these winds aloft off of my XM right and then I would just go home and it would have all this data in there oh sink error wow what's up with that okay we're gonna reboot wait about 10 seconds Counting along, 10 seconds. All right, we're looking back at me. Nobody's coming. I don't know what that noise is. Somebody open the hangar door. All right, we're gonna boot back up. And the speaker comes on. I'll turn the speaker off. Let's go again. It's counting. Hopefully this one take, does a little faster. I'm not going to sit here and make you guys watch all that though. Alright, we'll see. Stand by. Okay, here we go. Databases are ready. Activate databases on the next ground restart. All our dates are good. And you can see on our final one that we just updated, it's in this. Uh, right now we're on this 2105. It's active. It's effective. It's in the standby. May of 2021. This is the one that's going to activate tomorrow. It starts today on the 20th. So it won't update until tomorrow, I guess, when I reboot. But anyways, that's how you do. We updated the chart. I've got my Connect card back in. And then normally on the ground, here's how we do it. Let me go back. Our database would be updated. So let's say we just did that. We would hit Next. It would go into my weight. I would put in my payload. Let's say two passengers at 140, 45 cargo take off we could sink our fuel obviously we would need more fuel than what we got but we hit sink and it puts in what i've got the 1220 and then landing we don't know yet it, it'll estimate it once we get going so then i would hit next we would load the flight plan which i did we'd hit next and then i would do all these performance numbers like i said cruise uh winds and temperature it doesn't know because we're not outside We'd hit next. I'd pick the runway I'm going to go from. And here is where, after you've done the, what runway, you'd pick what runway. 
our takeoff data it's not gonna it won't give me takeoff data until I put in the weather right see uh, the weather tab and normally if I'm outside I would hit load METAR it's not gonna do it because we're not picking up our XM so I'd have to at least put in the winds and say they're 360 at two knots now it's got the wind now it would give me my takeoff data and the only reason it's saying that is because my barrow doesn't match what's in the box which normally we'd have all that set right if we we're doing this for real but anyway and then check flaps because I, I told it I wanted 10 degrees flaps and they're up so as soon as I move the flaps and then after the engines are running as soon as they're indicating 10 it would send the numbers the V speeds over to my speed tape and I think that's about it uh, next we would do our all our fire warning test it lights up all right we can get rid of that fire warning landing gear it's going to chime and this is only if i had the speaker on let me turn the speaker landing back on gear. just so landing you can hear gear. it landing gear we landing hit the button gear. angle of attack indicator the stick shaker's going all right we can click that windshield over temp the way we do that is we open the bleed air valves we go to low and we look for a light it's going to say there it is windshield over temp turn it off close the valve all right it's good over speed it's going to chime there's our over speed uh anti-skid anti-skid fail all right so that test is good annunciator lights up all of our lights all good tolls this may or may not pass because we're inside the hangar so i don't i don't think it will pass system test. oh it did okay okay so it just checks for some reason i was thinking it would fail inside the hangar and then radar altimeter test i just missed it but if the tank moved it's gonna go to 50 feet that. i'm getting all kinds of lights mainly because i'm inside the hangar All right, radar altimeter went back to zero. And it passed. All right, and then I'm gonna turn my speaker off now that we're not listening to anything. And then we would just hit, when we're all done, we just hit initialize and it's done. And that's it. We go home, go flight plan, and this is how we would depart on our normal departure. So thanks for watching. Hope that answered a few questions or probably confused you guys even more. If, it, if I'm doing it for real, I can I can show you better when I'm doing a real flight plan and I'm, I'm not just making up random numbers. So anyways. Oh, and actually my XM is starting to come up. It's showing a little weather out there. So, picking up a little bit in the hangar, but not real well. All right. Let's go do the reverse. I'm going to turn off the battery. All right, everything else is off. I'm going to put the flashlight back in its spot. I have my phone and the SD card. I keep the SD card with me so I can do updates after they come out. I don't have to make a trip out to the airplane. All right, everything's nice and neat. All right, we're going to walk out here. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to set you guys right here on the wing. Right, set you guys right there. All right. I'm gonna turn off the power to the power part. Unplug my little plug. Close the door. All right. And then I disconnect the battery. Got a little quick disconnect. We'll close the door, the back of the door. Like it. Like it. Oh, I want to leave the door. Or actually, I'm going to leave it because i got to roll up this cord. Anyway, I'm going to roll up the cord put that away. Then I'm going to clean my 
windshield and then I'll be done. Thanks for watching.